I was ecstatic that the council voted to, to suspend it. Um, it's an inhumane law. The city of Spokane is temporarily suspending the sit and lie ordinance. The council's action currently says the ordinance can't be enforced until 30 days after 200 more beds are made available. We'll get to that note in just a bit. Communication Director Marlene Feist tells me the council's vote on the emergency ordinance seemed unnecessary. That's because the sit and lie law doesn't apply to someone who is homeless when shelters are full. This is something even Spokane police have confirmed in the past they are practicing. And they have the right to exist on public property. They have to exist somewhere. So the next steps are to repeal all of the laws that criminalize people who are homeless and to get um, uh, resources like toilets that are open 24-7 for people so that they have a place to go. Do you think the city will go in that direction or will ever get to that point? I am very encouraged by what I saw last night at the city council meeting that, that they are moving in that direction. Now back to the additional 200 beds. Those will become available at the city's warming shelters. The city is currently negotiating contracts with local organizations for warming shelters, which will be open daily during the winter, meaning they won't be temperature activated. So far, the city is finalizing contracts with Open Doors for Families, Women's Hearth, and Hope House for Adult Women. The last to be negotiated is a men's warming shelter. Vice expects negotiations to wrap up within a week and the shelters to open shortly after. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.